Hello guys, welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. In the last video, we actually won a live come for the first time this season, winning 3-2 against Teonana. And I promise that's the last time you'll hear that uh, in this save, well at least this season. Um, off screen, we didn't suffer defeat again. Looking very nice and we're sitting in ninth place at the moment. Today's games were against bottom club Ascola Picchio and we're against Spezia who are now two places below us, uh, five points below us as well. So this could be a good video. I'm going to aim for two wins today. It's optimistic, but I think we can do it. Let's jump into a new episode of Palmer from the Ashes. So not a lot else to tell you about that happened off screen. I didn't make any other signings because, um, yeah, I tried for people and it just there were it just wasn't working out. So um, the only so the only signing we've made this January is Galliano, the striker who has yet to find the net for us in uh, four games, but only one of those was a start. He got one assist. He hasn't done a lot wrong, but um, he hasn't really been given a chance yet. So he might get his chance in one of these two games here. Uh, as terms of outgoings, I've just released a bunch of guys in the under 18s and the under 20s that we're never going to feature. So um, they've all gone, and um, yeah, um, we've had to give a bit of compensation for that, but it's not all that bad. So um, off screen, I played four more games and we didn't lose, which is really nice. So last time, of course, we had a 3 1 defeat against Verona, where they um, led 3 0 at half time. We pulled a goal back, and then we beat Tenana 3 2. I'm not going to do that anymore, I promise. Uh, Makulu with two goals in as many minutes. Uh, Chiravolo made it 2-1. Uh, we made it 3-1 uh, and then they got a second to make it 3-2. So four games off screen. Started off with a goalless draw against Avellino in which not a lot happened. We had a fair few shots. We had six shots on target but we couldn't finish them off. Um, didn't do a lot wrong though. Defending very nice. Uh, Kozic and Saporetti doing well. Marcucci creating a lot, but we just couldn't finish him off in the final third. Not a lot of chances, and Avellino didn't find the target in the all game, but they defended fairly well in their own right. So, yeah, near on a draw there. Not a bad point, I guess, against Avellino. We could have done better, but it could have been worse. Then we beat Vicenza 1-0. How did we do against them earlier in the season? We beat them 1-0 earlier as well, I believe. No, that's Venezia. Vicenza, where are they? There we are. We, they beat us 2-0 at home. We beat them 1-0 away from home. Beretta with the only goal in the 92nd minute. They suffered an injury sort of about half an hour in. Krunic suffering a knee injury. And it looks to be like it, it looks like he was one of their key players. So probably a good thing there. Again, very good defending. Kozic and Saporetti doing very well. Kozic man of the match in this game. Sabioni doing good as well. Mikulu not so good. 6.2. He came off on 76 minutes. His replacement, Galliano. Um, but Beretta came on to make to go for a two-striker formation, which has kind of worked recently, so it might be something we'll look at doing today. Galliano set it up, so yeah, that's a good 1-0 win. Uh, the game after that, we won 3-2 against Savona in a game where we went 2-0 down, and we came out with a winner. Fabio Aveni with uh, the brace for Savona, 16th and the 34th minutes. Not long after that second goal, we got one back, Gaston Camara making it 2-1. And then in the second half, Marcucci made it 2-2. And a couple of minutes after that, Kamara got his second goal of the game, our third, to make it 3-2. Marcucci with a fabulous game. He got a goal. He got an assist. Uh, Sabioni setting one up. Kamara with a couple of goals. And the substitute, Kupit, setting one up after a less than stellar performance by Karapi. And again, Makulu ineffective. So, very even as well. As you can see, same number of shots. Possession was very slightly in our favour. But um, we came up with a winner, so that's all that matters. Uh, defending wasn't great. We conceded two goals, so not more. Didn't we have to expect low ratings there? Because it's in Saporetti, not doing too good. Venucci, though, not too bad. He created from the left wing, so that's not too bad. And then the final game off screen, 1 0 away against Barry. Kamara up with another goal. I think that brings him up to double figures, but I'm not certain. Barry were all over us at a point. They had 21 shots in this game, but they could not find the net. We defended very well again. Miko with a decent performance in goal. Um, the back four doing pretty good. Sabioni doing well. Um, not too bad going forward either. We had a few shots. We had some chances. But yeah, not too bad at all. And well, we were unbeaten off screen. So that's very nice. In terms of the table, we're sitting in ninth place. So um, we're looking very nice. We are five points ahead 
of Frosinon who topped the um, bottom half of the table. So we're looking pretty good in this top half of the table at the moment. I'm very happy with how it's going. In terms of uh, promotion, I know we're a bit away, 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 away. I know we're a bit far away from promotion. We're actually only seven points off top, which isn't a lot if you if you look at it really. No, anything could happen in the in the last few games. But in terms of how promotion works, it depends on the gap between the players between the teams below. So if we look at the rules for Serie B, as you can see, the top three teams when promoting to Serie A, if more than nine points separate third and fourth, and then it depends on how many points separate the um, from third to fourth or up to eighth, depending on the points difference. Uh, in terms of relegation, uh, or in terms of qualification for the promotion playoff, again, it depends on how many points there are between the lower teams, and then the same with uh, relegation as well. So not a lot else to look at there, really. Um, but against Ascoli Pico, we should be getting a win here. We're at home. They are bottom. They've won two games all season. Only 14 points. So we should be winning this. Let's jump into the game. So we've been playing something a little bit like this recently, and it's worked. So I'm going to do it today. Uh, unfortunately, we only played our last game three days ago. As you can see, we only played last on the Saturday, and it's now the Tuesday. So rotations have had to be made. Um, so this is the starting eleven for this game. Miko retains his place in goal. The back four is Carlini, Balaza, Kozic and Venucci, which isn't too bad, but I don't really want anyone sort of below 90% or on or below 90% ideally. So that's the back four. Carlini uh, is not looking too good really. He hasn't been a great player. Balaza has been a bit better, but we're going to have him on cover. So hopefully that will work. Uh, Kofi Yege comes in as a defensive midfielder because Sabioni is um, a little bit tired still. Uh, Stefano Botta comes back in. We haven't seen him a lot, despite his uh, being the captain of the team. Cooper's and Karapi, the uh, wide players. Karapi playing on the right. And then the front to Beretta and Makulu, who hasn't done a lot recently. But um, we're going to give him a start. And then if all goes wrong, we have Galeano on the bench. Uh, also on the bench, Kamara, Sabioni, Sol. Albono, Saporetti, Marcucci, Sarcevic and Gaston Butaccio there as well. Um... These are some of the under-20 players we have. Uh, Yves Barai is actually back. So do we put him on the bench, maybe? Rafa Martino is not playing anymore this season. He has not had a good game for us in the first team like, at all. So he's not going to get a game at all this season. Um, I'm wondering if I should put Barai on here somewhere. Um, yeah, let's get Keda Sol off. Let's do that. Uh, we're on control structure, teams we're at home and we are solid favourites and this is the instructions we've got. If you want to see those in more detail you can pause the video and um, we're going to submit the team. So a lot of people are struggling for Matt Sharp on this but then I'd rather that than we put tired players out there. Uh, I fully expect you to keep our run going and win this match. Probably shouldn't have gone with that but hopefully we'll do well here. The players are in good morale, good spirits so this should be a nice win. Throw in here Venucci, um, we've lost the ball. But we've won it back immediately. Carlini to Aguirre. Here is Botta. Ball to Venucci. Uh, back to Botta. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, just as I did that, um, Aguirre had a shot. It was saved. And Carapi's rebound was also saved. A couple of shots on target there. Country clears it up pitch. And Carlini with the ball again. Carapi, does he keep it in? I would we'll never know. Tate with the free kick for Ascoli here. His Lombardo. They've had a shot in the game, but that is all. Di Lorenzo to Girardi. Is that our Girardi? It is our Girardi. Has he done anything for them? He scored five goals in six games. Why can't you do that for us? God's sake. That would happen, wouldn't it? He better not score against us. I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, we've won the ball back here. Here's Botta. Back to Balaza. Long ball to Makulu. Karapi. Passing it around well here. 88% pass completion is very nice. Makulu to Botta. Beretta. And shot, it was saved, and it's cleared for a corner. But, you know, we're dominating this game at the moment. Kupitz with a corner, it's headed out of play by Tate. Keep it up and the result will come, I'm going to say. All right, that's not too bad. Um, they've controlled the midfield well, so I'll say that. Um, but the finishing hasn't been on par. Right, that's not a bad team talk. I think we well, I think we said all the right things there. Let's see if we can um, make it count on the pitch. I could always go for the demand more because that tends to work. I've been using a lot more of those touchline team talks as of late and they seem to work. So I'll be doing some more of those. But at the moment, we're having a lot of shots, but we haven't got any in the net yet. Here's Botter again to Kupitz. 
We have options on the bench as well. Botta back to Balaza. Makulu heads it on to Agie, or heads it back rather. Again, we're still passing very well. Here's Kupitz, and the shot was straight at the goalkeeper. So we're getting the balls in there, but we've had three clear-cut chances. And we haven't got a goal from it yet. And Kofi Agie is going to get sent off again. That's his third red card this season. I can't... Honestly, he gives me a headache. I've got to find him two weeks' wages. I've got to. Right. Uh, I'm going to take off Beretta. Um... Right, we're going to change uh, Botter to a defensive deep line playmaker. Um, and what else can we do? We're doing right. We're just not. The finishing just isn't great. Maybe even what. Well, we've just got Makulu up there now. Let's see if that helps. Um, if we go into our team talk, actually, let's demand more. Let's try it. We've actually. Well, we've gone up to eighth because results are the way. Are in, Results have gone our way in uh, other games, but 70 minutes, it's still nil-nil. How are we not winning this game? We've completely dominated them. Um, I'm gonna right, I'm gonna swap the strikers because Mikulu's tired. Galeano is gonna play as the advance forward. Um, right, let's put Kupitz on attack. Let's put Marcucci on attack. And let's go attacking. If they break and they score, I'm gonna be really pissed. But we should be winning this game with no problem. We've yet to even score a goal. Girardi's off, so hopefully that. So I'm happy that he hasn't scored against us after playing about 24 for us without scoring. Galliano, back to Marcucci, Kupitz, Venuti again. Nice passing here. Karap is there, and he was offside. The one time we do get the ball in the net, and he is offside. They've got a corner here. Don't you dare! Oh my God! Andrea Contri. Has made it 1 0 to them. They've won two games all season. Get it off them. Get the ball off them. That was their first shot on target. No, God's sake. Overload. What else can we do? We're doing everything. There's two minutes of injury time. This. I can't believe this has just happened. How many chances have we had? Di Lorenzo's is he going to be through again here? Marcucci passes it back to Mikai, but that's good. Oh. Fuck's sake. How have we fucking lost that? Right. Aggressive. That wasn't good enough. There are no excuses for winning that. You. Aggressive. Very disappointed in you for getting sent off. I don't care if you're demotivated. You are never playing again this season. How have we lost that game? Look. Right. Look at that. Seven shots on target. How we should not have lost that. Two weeks wages. You want to discuss personal matters? No. Right. Why did I find you? You let yourself and your teammates down, and therefore that warranted punishment. Well, Bot is also banned. He's got five yellow cards. Kofi is banned again. Look at that. This season, right? Nine yellow cards, three red cards. No goals, no assists, nothing like that. His passing's been all right. He's made a lot of tackles, but that disciplinary stuff is it's it's not good enough. Fifty-three fouls committed this season. What is that like in the league? Actually, let me have a look. Okay, we can't look at fouls. But if we have a look at red cards, Kofi Agui's got three. There is one other player on three. In yellows, he hasn't got that many, but I'm just really annoyed. Three red cards, it's ridiculous. And we bloody lost to the bottom team. Okay, game two against 11th place Spezia, who are now four points behind us. Their manager is none other than Zinedine Zidane. So that's an interesting one. Two suspensions in, the, in this game. Kofi Agui is suspended. So he's going to come off. Sabione is going to come back in. Botter suspended. So Marcucci will come in there. Okay, this is what we're going with today. We moved it around a bit. So Kozic has switched sides in the centre back. Saporetti has come in. Balaza is on right back. Sabione and Marcucci in the midfield. Barai comes in on the left. Kamara on the right. Galliano in for Makulu, who in the last five games has rated 6.56. 
Uh, and Graziani's back on the bench. Martinez back on the bench, but that's only because of our suspensions. So that's it. We're on counter structured, seeing as we're away from home. We're going to be more expressive and roam from positions. Uh, we're going to go more direct. And we're going to close down more. Let's do it. Uh, after the dreadful, well, not a dreadful performance, but after losing in the last game, let's see if we can uh, win this one. Let's get, let's give the fans a performance they're expecting of us here. We really should have won the last game. We ended up losing 1-0. Not severely, but I think we got FM'd in the last game. So, oh god, it's a short pitch. Okay, uh, what do I do for this? I think it's higher, direct. But yeah, it's a square pitch. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Zinedine Zidane playing on the square pitch as well. And they scored. Three minutes in. Great. It's going to be one of those one of those days today, is it? Uh, right, we're going to pump the... Right, we are pumping the ball into the box. Uh, we're going to... Go for a high tempo. Oh, we, oh um, there is a highlight on the way here, though. Here's Ricciardo. And he's going by himself. Now he passes to Vezovic. Ricciardo again. Shot. And they're 2-0 two two up. God's sake. Sinking without a trace. Yeah, you're right. First episode, we had the red mist descend. In this episode, we've been absolutely terrible. Show some passion. Oh, he's still going forward, but he's got no support here. He goes by himself, and that is a great cross. And Galeano is there. He's opened his account for Palmer, so that's better. 2-1. And there's, like I said, those touchline team talks work. I said show some passion and they scored a goal. There might be another one coming in, but I, with the free kick, back in after a long spell from injury. Ricciardo on the attack again here, though. Here's a Rusty. And Balaza did not close it down. Yamelo with the save. Get it up. Oh, my God. That's an own goal. Right. I want to see this again because if this was bad, then I'm bloody pissed. Good save to start with. But are you taking the piss? Anything more like that, and this laptop is going out the window. Your pride is at stake today. You're letting yourselves down. Change being made. Beretta's off. Makulu on. Kamara on the ball. Come on, right. Cross. Beretta's there. Right, 3-2. Right, back in the game. It's been so bad today, but... Right. They've got Yamelo, the guy that we almost signed. The striker that we almost signed. Defending has been awful. On the right, especially. Belaz has been terrible. I'm taking him off before he does anything else stupid. If we can pull this back, I'll be amazed. But we're running out of time. We're going overload. Savion is exhausted. He's coming off. I can't get uh, Sartrevich up there. Um, no, nope, that's it. Bloody hell. Two losses. Didn't deserve it. Assertive. You were not good enough today. Defending. Right. Aggressive. Disappointed with your defensive efforts. That was absolutely shit. That bloody own goal is just, well, it's, it's it's unacceptable. And that's two losses, and that's put us down a tenth. We're still in the top half, but two losses is just, I'm, I, I ain't having it. And bloody Zidane beat us as well. I mean, it's, it's no Real Madrid, who is Real Madrid manager? Is it, who is it now? Is it, it's not Rafa still, is it? Or whoever it was at the start of the thing. Rafa Benitez is still the manager. So Zidane is down in Sp Italian Serie B. Where has he been? He was at the. He must have gone there from the B team. So after Real Madrid, he was assistant manager. Then he was Real Madrid B manager. Then he managed the Basel under twenty ones, and then he went to Spezia. Why can't you just stay at Madrid, you bloody stupid person? To be fair, it's not often that the red mist descends, and it's not Zidane talking about well me and Kofi again in the previous game. But that's an awful two games. Against the bottom club, we lose 1-0. And then we bloody have a complete disaster against Spezia, including an own goal and going 2-0 down. Not a great one. So coming up, we haven't got a lot of games left. 
next episode will be Alessandria at home, Venezia away, and then after that will be Livorno and Lecce to round off season two. And then we'll see if there's anything after that. Probably not. So we'll jump into uh, our fourth season where hopefully we'll be a bit further up the table. And hopefully we can start pushing from promotion to Serie A. Because mid tables our prediction this season. And so far we are achieving it. So we're not looking too bad. You know, our status is still very secure in terms of job security. But, yeah, Balas has been playing terribly. And in terms of ma match performances, they're still disappointed with some of the results. So we could be a lot higher than we are. So that's going to do it for this episode. Not a great one. Two defeats. So uh, hopefully next episode will be a bit better against Alessandria and Venezia. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Leave in a comment you want to make. And if you want to see videos as and when they're still up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm getting a good five likes a video now. So it's pretty good to see. If you can make that even better, let's push for like six or seven maybe. That would be really nice. So hopefully that happens. We will see. But yeah, keep the subs coming. You know, we've got 150 the other day. So really good really happy so i'm just gonna keep up the content and yeah you just keep up the support that's as simple as that so that's the end of the video thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next one goodbye